everybody it's rochelle back up a little bit back in a little bit <laughs> it's rochelle the review queen here bordeaux rolls on this channel but anyway i'm here to talk about my one year hair anniversary anniversary i wish i had a white background so you can see because you can't even see like my hair you can't even see it but anyway, how you guys doing today? I just wanted to come across and let you guys know that as of November, no, yeah, November 25th of this year, just like last week, I made one full year. My anniversary actually made one year. My hair. <laughs> what am I saying? My hair made a one year anniversary. It's been a year since I did the big chop. Um, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It was my big chop. I cut it all off. My husband actually helped me. He did the, he took the clippers, cut it all the way off. It was like this. It was like nothing. And now it's a year old. Right now it's a little shrunken because I went in the shower today without my little, um, I usually use these little satin scrunchies and like mini pineapples to keep it kind of stretched a little bit but this time I didn't I just got in the shower and you know how it go when the water kind of even the steam hit your hair shrinks it up so I have a little shrinkage going on but that's okay if this is a when did I do this wash and go Saturday so Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday it's a five-day wash and go that I have going on here I don't know if you can see um the texture not sure but yeah so um just a couple of little small changes in my hair um you remember i had if you saw this my video my previous videos you know that i possess a white patch right there um i since as you can see dyed it my whole head actually i dyed black it's the color is called soft black i'm gonna do a review on that um talk about how it treated my hair did i like it did i not like it all that good stuff um but it's been like a month since i dyed it and this is my growth you can't really see it because my hair kind of flops just a tiny bit to the front so that's the reason that you could barely see the white as far as my regimen is concerned nothing really changed i have done a few things different um to my regimen um so you know just a few things different to make things easier for myself i'm gonna talk about that in another video though uh, uh what else what else what else length check little little length check um length checks is always hard when your hair is not stretched because it curls up on itself and doesn't really give you like a true length but this is i'm right underneath the collarbone this is my collarbone right underneath collarbone Okay, on that side, I hate doing this because then it stretches my hair and it looks ridiculous all day. This side, a little bit further. It's a tiny bit, let me keep my head straight. Tiny bit further than this side, just a tiny bit. Uh, my sides, probably not gonna be able to see, but they stretch <laughs> that long, okay? So uh, this side is the same. <laughs> and my hair is six inches long we measured me and my hubby playing around in the bed the other night he measured for me and it does measure six inches so i guess your hair does grow an average of six inches per um year so it's been a year since i've been growing my hair my hair is six inches oh my god these little fairy knots drive me bananas okay it's the front and the back let's see if you can see This is the back. I don't know if you can see that. And then the top. <laughs> Sorry, I have balloons up there because it was my son's birthday. He just turned two. Um, so, yeah, this is my hair. It's one year old. I'm loving, loving, loving the growth. I love wearing my wash and go. I was supposed to be on a six month um, um, protective style regimen but I could not get past month two. What I would do is braid my hair up every week, like once a week, wash it, braid it every week, you know, and I did that for two months straight. And did I retain length? Yes, I did. I retained length, obviously. 
Um, it did work, but I think that you cannot go like six months doing that because the braiding of the hair and all that stuff, the manipulating of the hair that way is very damaging to your hair. So, I'm sorry, it's my cappuccino. I don't recommend um, doing protective styles for that long because like I said, the braiding, you know, your nails clicking and even if your nails are short, the snagging of the hair, pulling the hair, you know, it's just very damaging. So I wouldn't do that very long. I say like maybe a month or so, but the wash and go state is the best. I love it. It's the easiest for me. This right here is a very frizzy wash and go because um, I, I've had it for five days. Like I said, I got in the shower with it, but when I first do it, it's very nice and defined and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, what else? What else? What else? There's some new products I've been using. I'm gonna do a um, I'm gonna do a review on some of those. But this is really just a video to show you my length from my year for being natural one full year. Uh, let me know in the comments where are you on your journey? Are you at a year? Are you just just big chopping? Are you just trying to see like, oh, let me see where is she at for a year? Will I be there? Like if you're just curious, um, if you haven't big chopped and you're looking for inspiration, you know, let me know where you're at. I'm excited to be on this journey. I'm happy. I've been trying to do this for like three years. Finally, last year, I just did it. I tried to transition, didn't work, could not take the transitioning. It was driving me bananas. So um, now I love it, love it, love it. And I think what I love the most is my hair is, you know, ability to just wet it, it kinks up and goes. You know, when I wasn't natural, when I was um, relaxed and I was trying to transition, the problem that I had was my relaxed hair would just kind of stay straight. Like I would try to do curly styles and if I sleep on it, it's smushed. Okay, if I wash it, it's not going to just spring back up and I could just kind of shape it with my fingers and go. I could not take that. It was driving me nuts. So I had to just cut it all off last year. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to transition. I'm just going to cut it off and keep it moving. If I look crazy, hey, it's hair. Okay. And my husband liked it. So, <laughs> and I liked it. It was more important that I liked it. So I liked it. I loved it. I appreciated it. I am happy I did it. I would never look back. When I get bored, I wear wigs. Hey. That's how you do it, okay? My, my my workplace doesn't understand it, but guess what? It ain't for you to understand, okay? <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming by. I'll see you again um, very soon uh, with my regimen, my actual detailed regimen on what I do, how I um, take care of my hair, and try to incorporate the products. I'm going to try because I want to talk about that in a separate video. But anyway, thanks for stopping by and you have a great, 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 great day. Bye-bye.